Hi everyone, welcome back to Box's YouTube channel where we do unboxing, reviews and product demos on the latest tech. Today we'll be reviewing the ASUS Zen Screen Touch MB16AMT. Let's take a look at what's in the box. We have the magnetic case, some documentation, a HDMI cable, a USB-C cable, a pen, USB adapter and then behind it we have the Zen screen itself. The design on this is gorgeous, I love the aluminium grey colour and the materials feel premium and strong. This portable monitor weighs surprisingly little at less than 1 kilo, and it's also really thin at just 9mm which is actually thinner than my notebook. This makes it really portable and perfect for popping in your bag to carry with you all day. On the front we have the power button on the right side and a joystick on the left that allows you to control a range of settings. The smart cover that comes with this is brilliant as it's magnetic and folds right the way around the monitor so it's protected from bumps and scratches when you're on the go. You can also fold it so that it works as a stand which is brilliant as realistically with a portable monitor you do need a portable stand. The only thing to bear in mind is that the case does add a little bit of weight to the monitor but overall it's still really light. We also have the Zen Screen Pen that comes with this. Now it's not a smart pen, it's an actual pen with a stylus on the end. At first I was wondering why a pen came with the monitor. But then I saw the hole that Asus have which you can put the pen through to use as a stand. I felt that this was better as a stand as it was a lot more sturdy than the magnetic case. This touchscreen monitor is honestly pretty cool. It has a 15.6 inch screen which is larger than the average tablet and this meant I could have multiple documents open at once. The touchscreen was really accurate and it made it easy to edit documents, draw on slides or even play games. The screen is also full HD so it gave pretty sharp visuals and a range of content from nature shows to new movies. The IPS panel gave minimal colour distortion from a range of viewing angles which made it great for collaborative work such as delivering presentations or doing group work from one device. The screen also has low blue light technology whereby you can choose from four filter levels in order to keep your eyes comfortable in a range of light settings. On top of this it has flicker free technology which helps to reduce eye strain even further to keep you as comfortable as possible for a full day's work. This core cool monitor also has a range of preset modes to enhance visuals for a range of uses from reading to movie streaming. So no matter what you're using the monitor for, you can be sure you'll have the perfect settings. The Zen Screen Touch app allows you to view and control your Android phone through the monitor, which is a pretty cool feature. However, I wasn't able to test this out today as I only have an Apple phone to hand. This ZenBook has hybrid signal USB-C and micro HDMI connectivity, which means you can display content from a range of devices, from your laptop to your phone, or from your PC and even consoles. If you don't have a USB-C laptop or device, you don't need to worry as it comes with a handy adapter which can adapt a USB type A port with the driver installed. A really cool feature on this is that it has its own battery which can last up to 4 hours. This is really useful because it doesn't drain the battery of the device that it's using, making it perfect for a full day's work. When you have to charge it back up, it has Quick Charge 3.0 technology which doubles the battery charging speed to make sure you can be up and running again in no time. Overall, this is a really awesome touchscreen portable monitor. It's thin and lightweight, comes with a bunch of accessories such as the adapter, pen and cover and has a range of awesome features to help maximise productivity and fun. What do you guys think of this portable touch monitor? Make sure to let us know in the comments below and if you have any questions, pop them down and we'll be happy to get back to you. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with the latest tech reviews. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.